So now let's take a look at the signal flow in contact, how audio moves through the system. We know that audio is generated from our samples through our zones and groups and so forth, but there are different steps along the way where we can alter that audio, and this diagram here shows how that works. We're going to take it piece by piece, starting down from the group level. And the group level is really the first time where we have a chance to alter the audio sound. So we've got our samples and zones, we've triggered a certain sample, and now at the group level, we can start to manipulate that sound. Signal flow and contact begins with the source module. It's here where we can define the sample playback engine we use, and there are different engines for different purposes. The audio that comes out of the source module goes through up to eight insert effects. These run one after the other, and they can contain things like filters and EQs, compressors, and so forth. The output of the group effects goes to the amplifier, and this is where we can set the volume and the panning and some other things for each of our groups. Now the last two group effects are special. We can have them process the sound before the amplifier or after the amplifier, and there are different reasons to do it one way or the other. Now in addition to the group effects, we also have things called send effects, and we can send a little bit of each group to a variety of send effects, things like reverbs and delays. And we can set those up here in our seventh and eighth group slot. We actually define the send effects later on in the chain. So here's a closer look again from the source through the insert effects, through the amp, and then through any post effects. Now once we finish processing the sound for each one of our groups, we then start to look at the instrument level and each instrument has up to eight effects. So we have eight effects for each group, and then we have another eight effects for the instrument at large. These again run in sequence, and the output of those goes to our final instrument output. Now those send effects I talked about are defined at the instrument level, and we can send some of our output of the instrument to the send effects. We already showed how we can send some of the output of each of the groups to the send effects, and we can define up to eight of the send effects here in this send effects section. And the output of those send effects goes to our instrument output along with everything else. So now we go up to the multi level where we combine multiple instruments together. And each instrument can be sent to a different output. In the 105 course, we spent a lot of time talking about how to set up the outputs in the contact mixer. We have a lot of control over what sound gets sent to which output in our mixer, and the number of outputs is defined by how many we have on our audio interface, and each channel in our mixer has up to four insert slots. So once again, we have another four effects we can add, plus four auxiliary channels, each with their own four effects. So there's an awful lot to signal flow and contact. Of course, we'll be going through all of this in detail later in the course.